delicious potash. Ah, the ritual comes back to me. If you sprinkle some of the extra potash on it and move your petals fingers like so and water it and sway with the sun, no, yes, yes, you've got it. Tell Lady Zen Zen Seven Star. Yashche remembered the ritual? Whew. Of course, now we have to first get to the petal door. Fly up to Alto Alto and I will meet you there. It's impossible to believe that King Neza is gone, but I have to take on my duties at once. One of the first things I must do is clean up the chaos caused by the Shadow Queen, and this will help you at the same time. The way to the petal door is still blocked by the Shadow Queen's web barrier. You need some spider essence to tear it down. You can get the spider essence by defeating the starfall spiders that have nested at the top of the Zalotl Tower. Well done! A small bit of the shadow expunged. Take the spider essence and use it to tear down the web barrier. Much better. Thank you for your help, magician. I will do what I can to honor my grandfather's memory and rule. You'll find your ally, Onyx Rain Sun, by the pedal door. She must be the one to introduce you to the Jaguar lands. Fly true. Magician, I understand it is time for you to see the floating mountains. Use the ritual Yashje taught you to activate the petal door. It will take you to the floating mountains. The Oracle lives there. We need her to guide us to the Pyramid of the Falling Star, the last of the great steppe pyramids. Beyond the petal door, you will find Okuhaje Mirror Knife, the guardian of the Oracle. You need to win him over before you can see her. You perform the ritual that Yashche taught you with petal finger gestures, some potash, and some good old-fashioned watering. A moment later, the flowers all bloom brightly with a magical glow. Ilhuya, you have earned your way with difficulty and suffering. You have been sent to consult with the Oracle to find the Pyramid of the Falling Star. You are not the only one searching for the Oracle. There are obstacles to overcome in this journey. Your first 
is Isla Tormenta. The island was conquered by a Kronosaur who kidnapped the Storm Quetzals. He cages their power for himself. Defeat Ahuizotl Drowned Dog. Free the Storm Quetzals he captured and coax them back to the Storm Pillars. They will recharge the Storm Pillars, which will summon a prismatic blade. Take it, for you will need it later. So pretty. Do you mind if I keep them? With the monster defeated, the Storm Quetzals race out to the open air, relishing their freedom. You gently coo at the Storm Quetzals, and they quiet down as they flop. Suddenly, one emits a small roar, and spark, a shimmering prismatic blade, appears on the dais. some small ability. Before I allow you to ask the Oracle how to find the Pyramid of the Falling Star, you must obtain a suitable offering. Magwe Century Cat can fashion you a new day charm. If you ask him nicely, he lives on Isla del Fuego. To reach del Fuego, find the bridge post at the edge of Isla Tormenta. Create a burning bridge with the... Find Magwe Century Cat and ask him to craft a gift for the Oracle. 